Okay, now uh, solving the equation dp dt equals kp with the condition p of 2 equals 800, p of 6 equals 1100 dollars, we get two equations that we can solve for k and a. We divided the two equations and obtained our solution for k. One fourth natural log of 1.375. That comes out pretty close to 0 0.08. We'll worry about that later. We don't really need that to determine this. Now we have AE to the 2 times 1 fourth natural log, etc., equals $800 just by substituting this value of K into this equation. We can simplify that slightly and we get AE to the 1 half natural log of 1.375 equals $800. By the laws of exponents, this is equal to a e to the natural log of 1.375 raised to the one half power. Now, the natural log e to the natural log of 1.375 is 1.375. So. Uh, a times 1.375 raised to the one half has to equal $800 so that A equals $800 divided by 1.375 to the one half which can be written the square root of 1.375. Now uh, square root of 1.375 is about 1.17, I believe. And that's going to end up being approximately, well, let's, let's not even approximate it. Um, okay, yeah, let's approximate it. 0.17 is about 1 sixth, so this will be about 6 sevenths of $800, which is going to be a little more than $800 less, so it's going to be about 600 and eighty-six dollars. Big question mark there. You can figure that out with your calculator. I'm not going to uh, get into that. So we've determined that A is about, if my approximation is correct, and I kind of doubt it, uh, around six hundred and eighty dollars or something like that. And K is one-fourth the natural log of 1.375. And that's about 0 0.08. This tells us that our solution function, P of T, equals A E to the K T is about equal to, let's just say, $680 times E to the point oh eight t. Now again you can check my figures and we can also check this solution by plugging in t equals two to see if we get about eight hundred dollars and t equals six and see if we get about eleven hundred dollars. And if you get an accurate solution use your calculator to do these calculations uh, it would come full circle. Let's look at the geometry of this equation. If dp dt equals kp, well we just determined that k is 0.08 for the given conditions here, so that dp dt is equal to something close to 0.08 times p. Now if that's the equation, let's map things out on the coordinate plane here. We put p versus t and we divide the p-axis up at uh, 12 and 8 and 4 and 1 will be way down here. If dp dt is 0.08p then when p equals 4 this tells us that dp dt equals 0.32. Now that would imply that our graph 
has a slope, because uh, the slope of course is equal to the dp dt, a slope of 0.32 everywhere where p equals 4. We've drawn a dotted line where p equals 4 and we're going to draw a bunch of slope segments of slope that I think might approximate 0.32. Might be a little steep, but we can live with that. And p equals 8 implies dp dt equals 0.64. So the slope is a little greater here. And when p equals 12, it's going to turn out that the slope is, well, 12 times 0 0.08 is 0 0.96, a slope pretty close to 1. So the graph, again, continues to get steeper. Now, these lines show us how our solution curves are going to behave geometrically. Uh, if we start out with a principle of, let's say, $686, uh, well, $686 is way down here. We haven't even drawn the slope field here because the slopes get pretty small. Uh, it t equals 1. Our slopes are 0.08. That's, got, that's a pretty small slope. And if we're down here at $686, the slope is even smaller, but that means that we follow this curve and we continue to follow the trend of this curve. I'm not doing a real good job of that, but you get the idea. And we get our principal function, P of t. Now, is that function equal to $680 times e to the 0.08t? I wasn't all that careful. I didn't do all that good of a job here. Um, Just notice that this video is going pretty long. I think I made a mistake there, but we'll live with it. Okay. Now, is that consistent with the idea that P of 6 is $1,100? Well, 6 occurs here. Uh, that would be here in the function. Uh, it looks closer to $2,000 than 1100 so I probably exaggerated the slope. But we get the idea.